How's it going, you sexy beast? Welcome to another edition of the Fan Picked Friday Challenge, where you can suggest what kind of weapon setup you'd like me to run with and see how well I do. Last week's challenge was the AV Sniper setup featuring the battle rifles, and you guys keep coming up with some very badass class setup suggestions. Remember that for next week's episode, go ahead and drop a comment in the section below saying what weapon setup, attachment, abilities, or anything else that you can imagine that you'd like to see me try out. I wanted to go ahead and apologize for the delay in this week's episode as Thanksgiving was this week and I hadn't the time to properly put together this video. Regardless, this week's challenge comes from Derp JPK, and I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical about it. He writes, Long Range Light Assault. T5 AMC with a 6x scope, compensator, advanced foregrip, high velocity ammo, repeater with suppressor and laser sight, grenade of choice, C4, ammo capacity, and normal jump jets. I think this is an interesting loadout because it takes advantage of the light assaults jump jets and the long range ability of the T5 AMC as well as its ammo capacity for a longer kill streak. If you've ever imagined a light assault with a sniper, this is it. Originally looking at the stats of the T5 AMC, I was utterly confused as to how this weapon would even be used for medium to long range. I'm so accustomed to the 500 round per minute fire rate of the long range weapons for the new conglomerate, so 652 rounds per minute just kind of left me flabbergasted. Also, I would like to declare that this was the first time I had ever used a 6x scope on any non-sniper rifle weapon so I was surely in for a treat. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into the, into the statistics of the T5 AMC. Considering it's a Terran Republic Carbine, it deals 143 damage per shot up to 10 meters, then falls off to 112 damage per shot at 65 meters. It fires at 652 rounds per minute, has a 40 round magazine, another 200 in the reserve, short reload speed of 2.265 seconds, and a long reload speed of 3.13 seconds, meaning the T5 AMC has the fastest reload of all Terran carbines. Vertical recoil pulls up at a rate of 0.3 degrees per shot and has a rightward horizontal recoil bias. The biggest strength of the T5 AMC is its bullet velocity, which bullets travel at 570 meters per second, which is the fastest moving carbine fired bullet in the game, even before we throw in high velocity ammunition. Jumping right into the action, the first thing I really had to grasp was the sheer magnification that was sitting on top of the AMC. Coupled with the fact that the weapon fully loaded up makes it look super freaking tactical, cool, I had to forget just about everything I knew about carbine handling. I'm sure if I slapped on my trusty 2 times reflex, I'd never even notice if this gun had recoil. But that 6 times magnification scope was just kicking my ass right from the start. Once I understood that I was not using a sniper rifle, and what was in my hands was actually a fully automatic ass kicking machine, then I started to understand how to use it. As I'm sure you guys are aware, my standard playstyle is run in head first and shoot wildly until I hope to kill something. With the extended visual range, now I was able to play much more conservatively in my playstyle while also kind of being hyper aggressive. I was able to scale buildings or and find a very comfortable nook between rocks and just completely wreck people. It was like using the infrared night vision scope back when it was good. Seriously. Holy shit. My kill death ratio, ratio was a solid 7 to 10 when I found out how to use this gun and it kept getting better and better until a vehicle or max would just ruin my life. Now for this particular setup, I didn't have the certs to fully max out my ammunition belt, but if I had, holy crap. I was running around with 360 freaking bullets and with a max ammo belt then I'd be rocking out 400 rounds like a heavy assault with an LMG, except that I could freaking fly. I would find myself winning the majority of toe-to-toe -to -toe fights solely due to the fact that I could zoom up on my enemy's center mass, focus on the pores of their skin, and unload the AMC into them. Also with the enhanced magnification, it was really easy to spot your tracers, so adjusting your aim in according to a moving target was extremely simple. Only downside was the sheer amount of horizontal recoil that was plaguing the gun at longer range. 
Though we do have a very badass for medium ranges, it's the secondary weapon that truly ties this whole piece together. The Terran's Repeater has got to be my favorite faction-specific pistol in the game, aside from the Desperado since it's pretty much the same pistol. When entering closed quarters, swapping to the Repeater was like having a submachine gun as your secondary that can hip fire like a boss with a laser sight. This weapon, coupled with the suppressor, was just perfect for moving into position to make the most of the AMC, or just mowing down any pesky infiltrators that come up trying to sneak up on you. The rest of the setup is just butter biscuit, biscuit gravy on our butter biscuit wheels of deliciousness. C4 is a light assault wet dream, capable of taking out pesky max units or any vehicles that stray far too close. The ammunition belt suit slot certification is the only thing that I run on my light assaults so I can stay aggressive on the front lines of rooftops without having to expose myself to grab some more ammunition. Overall this setup was a blast to use and I think I found my new favorite weapon for the Terran Republic Carbine class. I think it's time to slap a 6x scope on my Gauss rifle and see how well that handles. Thank you again for your challenge derp JPK. If you guys would like to see me run your challenge, let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose one of the top rated comments to use in next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a mega super awesome big ass thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. It's free.